Hi everyone, so I'm back again with yet another Dentsy demonstration you can do with your students in class. And it's a pretty good one, it's pretty dramatic, and I think it's something that will really pique their interest. So I have four glass milk containers, two of them labeled hot water, two of them labeled cold water. The cold water I've already pre-filled up using just the tap and then placing those containers into the refrigerator to kind of cool them down. The hot containers, I am actually going to physically put the water into a beaker and put it on a hot plate. You do not want to put these milk containers onto a hot plate as they will crack. So these are not scalding hot, it's not overly warm, but it's just enough of a temperature difference to really get a good result with your experiment. So I'm just going to take these two hot containers, fold them pretty much to the top. Then I'm gonna put some food coloring into them to kind of show the delineation between the two temperatures. Okay, so pretty simple there. Then I just take some food coloring, I'll put some yellow into the hot temperatures. I'll put some blue into the cool temperatures. Take my stirring rod, get that food coloring down into there. I'm just gonna add just a little drop of water here. Just want, you want to get the water all the way up to pretty much the top of the milk bottle. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to flip them over. The first set that I'm going to flip over, I'm going to take a hot container and I'm going to flip it over on top of the cold container. So I just took just kind of a plastic piece of an old binder, just made a little square out of it, put it on top of the hot container so this way that the water will not spill out. Line up the openings of the two containers and then pull out the card. What I like about doing this orientation first is because this is exactly how the law of any kind of thermodynamics, any kind of density is gonna be. The warm is gonna be on top, the cold is gonna be down on the bottom. Because of density, the warm wants to rise and the cold wants to sink. You're not gonna see any mixing here. So there's no mixing whatsoever because the warm is on top, the less dense is on top, the cold is on the bottom, the heavier or the more dense is on the bottom. So that's how the orientation should be. I like to save the next flip over to be the second because it's a little bit more dramatic. Now I'm gonna put the cold container on top of the hot container. So I take the cold milk bottle, put the card on top, Flip that over. Line up the openings of the two containers. And now what you'll see is you'll see some really good mixing. Because now the densities have reversed, the more dense is on top, the less dense is on the bottom. The more dense wants to sink. The less dense wants to rise up. So there's circulation going in. This is kind of a good activity to do, especially when you get into convection and doing earthquakes and plate tectonics, okay, because you can really get the good mixing going on. You can see that the yellow has turned green. The blue has dropped down into the yellow. The yellow is working its way up into the blue. Given enough time, they'll both turn it into a green color. So you got some really good mixing there going on. The heavy, the more dense cold water wants to sink down. The lighter warm water wants to rise up. So when you have them orientated the way they should be based on density, there's no mixing going on. But if you flip them and reverse them, the heavy wants to sink, the light wants to rise up. The cold wants to sink, and the warm wants to rise. Really good visual. I think it's definitely a worthwhile activity to do with your students. Really good for observation inference. Really good about trying to really push those NGSS phenomenon with your students. Hopefully this will work for you. Have a lot of fun with this. We'll talk to you soon.